Good morning. The friends and families of Holy Trinity Catholic Parish, thank you for joining us today for the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass. The Holy Sacrifice of the Mass can be viewed via live stream on the parish's Facebook page and heard each Sunday on KVFD 1400 at 8.30 a.m. Welcome to the celebration of the Mass of the fifth Sunday of Easter. The opening hymn will be hymn number 501, Be Joyful Mary, hymn number 501. Please rise. Be joyful, Mary, heavenly queen. Be joyful, Mary. Your grief is changed to joy serene. Alleluia. Rejoice, rejoice, O Mary. The Son you bore by heaven's grace. Be joyful, Mary. Did by his death our guilty race. Alleluia. Rejoice, rejoice, O Mary. The Lord has risen from be joyful, Mary. He rose in glory as he said, Alleluia. Rejoice, rejoice, O Mary. Good morning. Good morning, Monsignor. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins so to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal a contrite of heart. Lord have mercy. Lord, Lord have, mercy. have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ have mercy. Christ, Christ have mercy. Your seat at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord have mercy. Lord have, Lord, have mercy. have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. God, heavenly King, O oh God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ with the Holy Spirit in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. <clears throat> Almighty, ever-living God, constantly accomplish the Paschal mystery within us. 
that those you were pleased to make new and holy baptism may, under your protective care, bear much fruit and come to the joys of life eternal. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. As the number of disciples continued to grow, the Hellenists complained against the Hebrews because their widows were being neglected in the daily distribution. So the Twelve called together the community of disciples and said, it is not right for us to neglect the word of God to serve at table. Brothers, select from among you seven reputable men filled with the Holy Spirit and wisdom whom we shall appoint to this task, whereas we shall devote ourselves to prayer and to the ministry of the word. The proposal was acceptable to the whole community, so they chose Stephen, a man filled with faith and the Holy Spirit, also Philip, Prochorus, Nicanor, Timon, and Permenes, and Nicholas of Antioch, a convert to Judaism. They presented these men to the apostles who prayed and laid hands on them. The word of God continued to spread and the number of the disciples in Jerusalem increased greatly. Even a large group of priests were becoming obedient to the faith. The word of the Lord. Let your mercy be on us as we place our trust in you. Lord, let your mercy be on us as we place our trust in you. Ring out your joy to the Lord, O oh you just. For praise is fitting for the upright. Give thanks to the Lord upon the harp. With a ten-string lute, sing him songs. Lord, let your mercy be on us as we place our trust in you. For the word of the Lord is faithful, and all his works to be trusted. The Lord loves justice and right, and his merciful love fills the earth. Lord, let your mercy be on us as we pray our trust in you. <clears throat> yes, the Lord's eyes are on those who fear him, who hope in his merciful love to rescue their souls from death, to keep them alive in famine. Lord, let your mercy be on us as we place our trust in you. A reading from the first letter of St. Peter. Beloved, come to him, a living stone, rejected by human beings, but chosen and precious in the sight of God. And like living stones, let yourselves be built into a spiritual house to be a holy priesthood, to offer spiritual sacrifices 
acceptable to God through Jesus Christ. For it says in scripture, Behold, I am laying a stone in Zion, a cornerstone, chosen and precious, and whoever believes in it shall not be put to shame. Therefore, it, it value is for you who have faith, but for those without faith, the stone that the builders rejected has become the cornerstone, and a stone that will make people stumble, and a rock that will make them fall. They stumble by disobeying the word, as it is their destiny. You are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people of his own, so that you may announce the praises of him who called you out of the darkness and into his wonderful light. The word of the Lord. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. I am the way, the truth, and the life, says the Lord. No one comes to the Father except through me. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not let your hearts be troubled. You have faith in God, have faith also in me. In my Father's house there are many dwelling places. If there were not, would I have told you that I am going to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back again and take you to myself, so that where I am, you also may be. Where I am going, you know the way. Thomas said to him, Master, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. If you know me, then you will also know my Father. From now on, do you know him and have seen him? Philip said to him, Master, show us the Father, and that will be enough for us. Jesus said to him, Have I been with you for so long a time, and you still do not know me, Philip? Whoever has seen me has seen the Father. How can you say, Show us the Father? Do you not believe that I am in the Father, and the Father is in me? The words that I speak to you I do not speak on my own. The Father who dwells in me is doing his works. Believe me that I am in the Father, and the Father is in me. Or else believe because of the works themselves. Amen, amen, I say to you, whoever believes in me will do the works that I do, and will do greater ones than these, because I am going to the Father. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> home. What do you picture when I say the word home? Do you see a dream house or your childhood home? Do you see a room with people you love all gathered in it? The image of home conjures up as many different images as there are people here today. Now many of us grew up in a home that felt safe, but some of us may not have. Let's go home. I want to go home. How many times and how many different circumstances have we heard people say these words or said them ourselves? When we feel tired or disappointed, there's no place like home. 
Home is where we are safe. Home is a place of communion. If you know you are going home, any trip is never too long or too difficult. To have, to, go, to have a home is not to just have a house. It is to have a set of close ties with people who accept you for who you are and who give you a feeling of belonging. The apostles lived out this very idea of home. They traveled with Christ for three years in his public ministry. Their location of home was often changed. Their daily presence with the Lord was what brought them a sense of home, of safety and security, purpose and direction, rest and fellowship. Home did not mean a location to them, but a person, the person of Christ. Now during the Last Supper, which is the scene of our Gospel reading comes from, we hear the Apostles are thrown into a crisis when Jesus starts talking about His death. On hearing this, the Apostles' hearts were filled with fear. Their home would be turned upside down. Jesus tried to prepare them for His absence. He said to them, Do not let your hearts be troubled. You have faith in God. Have faith also in Me. Now, Jesus' response to our worry-filled lives is quite similar. He doesn't speak about a change of activities, a change of contacts, or even a change of pace. He speaks about a change of heart. Rather, He wants us to live in the world, firmly rooted in Him, and live for Him. This change of heart makes everything different even while everything appears to be the same. Now there comes a time in the lives of all believers when things can get very dark and we may have to believe what we cannot prove and to accept the things we cannot understand. It's at these times that we can best identify with the apostles. Hence, no matter what happens, no matter how difficult things might be, The apostles must go on believing, go on trusting in Christ and His Father. That's all they would have to do. And we are instructed to do that as well. Go on believing, go on trusting. Now Jesus didn't give the disciples a lot of complicated directions. Instead He said, I am the way. In effect, what he was saying is, follow me and I'll show you the way. Jesus assured the apostles that even though he was leaving them, he wasn't abandoning them. Jesus says, if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back again and take you to myself. For it is where I am, you also may be. So where does that leave us? He comes again, until he comes again, we've been instructed to make our earthly home rooted in trust and belief in God the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. If you ever feel unsure of which way you should go, start by asking yourself, which is the way of greater giving? In the church, we have a spiritual home built on the foundation stone of Christ and the like-minded brothers and sisters. Now, Pope Francis puts it this way, If you want to see God, do not look far away. Remain in the community with the others. Don't go away. Pray with them. Break bread with them. That is where you'll find Christ. The signs of love that overcomes hatred. The pardon that disarms revenge. The signs of the life that conquers death. It is here in the community that you will discover His face as you share moments of doubt and fear with your brothers and sisters, clinging even more strongly to them. Without the community, it is difficult to find Christ.
we profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, or true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation he came down from heaven, by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is the door and glorified, who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins and look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. As people united in faith, let us join our hearts and offer these prayers to our Lord. For all deacons, as those ordained to serve, may God empower them in revealing the light of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. For public officials, may God give them clarity to lead with mercy and justice. Let us pray to the Lord. For those nearing death, may the Holy Spirit comfort them, bringing the peace of Christ to their final hours on earth. Let us pray to the Lord. For our faith community, may Jesus draw us together in unity as a holy people, glorifying God the Father. Let us pray to the Lord. For those who have died in faith, especially Christopher McCready, may Jesus lead them to the place he has prepared as they rejoice with the saints forever. And for the intentions of this Mass, Alice Flaherty, Leo Doidi, Doidi, and our parish family, let us pray to the Lord. For the prayers we all hold silently in our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. God, our Father, we beg you for an increase in religious vocations. Help our people offer their lives in service to you. Let them hear your spirit's invitation. Awaken in them a desire to respond with courage, generosity, and joy. Raise up from our families faithful leaders who will serve as deacons, priests, and consecrated religious. As we entrust your care, all who seek to do your will, we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The hymn of preparation of the altar and gifts will be hymn number 762, Christ the way we're called to follow. Hymn number 762. the way we're called to follow Christ the way that leads to God when some other path attracts us keep us on the whole road you trod Jesus Master friend and Savior be our way our life our truth Christ the truth beyond all knowledge, Christ the truth that sets us free. When confusion clouds our vision, touch our eyes that we may see. Jesus, Master, Friend and Savior, be our truth, our way, our life. Rise. 
Christ the life that falls so loving, Christ the life that never ends. When we fail or fear or stumble, Lord, forgive your hand, extend. Jesus, Master, Friend and Savior, be our life, our truth, our way. <clears throat> May be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all this holy church. O God, who by the wonderful exchange effected in this sacrifice have made us partakers of the one supreme Godhead, grant, we pray, that as we have come to know your truth, we may make it ours by a worthy way of life, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times, to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to allow you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. By the oblation of his body, he brought the sacrifices of old to fulfillment in the reality of the cross. And by commending himself to you for our salvation, he showed himself the priest, the altar, and the lamb of sacrifice. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest, Hosanna in You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord, Jesus Christ. The time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith This bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. 
Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope and Walker, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, and the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 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 At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you my peace, I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world, blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
the true vine, and you are the branches, says the Lord, whoever remains in me, and I in him, bears fruit in plenty. Alleluia. O shepherd of Israel, hear us. You lead yourself like a flock. I am the true vine, and you are the branches, says the Lord, whoever remains in me. And I in him bears fruit in plenty. Alleluia. <clears throat> Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be. Word without end. Amen. <clears throat> I am the true vine, and you are the branches, says the Lord. Whoever remains in me, and I in him, bears fruit in plenty. Alleluia. The communion hymn will be hymn number 507, O Sons and Daughters. Hymn number 507. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. O sons and daughters, let us sing The King of heaven, the glorious King O'er death today rose triumphing Alleluia! 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 That Easter morn at break of day, the faithful woman went their way to seek the tomb where Jesus lay. Alleluia! 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 An angel clad in white, they say, Who sat and spoke unto the three, Your Lord has gone to Galilee. Alleluia! 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 That night these apostles met in fear, Amidst them came to Lord most dear, And said, My peace be on us here. Alleluia! 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 When Thomas first the tidings heard, How they had seen the risen Lord, He doubted the disciples' word. Alleluia! 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 My wounded side, O oh Thomas, see, Behold my hands, my feet, said he, 
not faithless, but believing be. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those who have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life through Christ our Lord. We have but one announcement today, and that is that the Catholic Daughters invite you to their meeting on May 11th to become a member, or renew your membership, or to visit and get more information. The Catholic Daughters donate to charities, administer scholarship programs, share faith, love of God, and enjoy each other's company while sharing a meeting, or excuse me, while sharing a meal at their monthly meetings. Please see the bulletin for more information. There will also be members at the entrances of the, of the uh, church with a small gift for women of the parish. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Mass is ended. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord with your life. Thanks be to, Thanks God. Be to God. The closing hymn will be hymn number 528, Christ the Lord is Risen Today. Hymn number 528. We'll be singing verses three and four. Say, oh, wandering Mary, say what you saw along the way. I beheld the glory bright of the risen Lord of light. Empty tomb and angels sing where Christ's body once has been Christ my hope raised gloriously make his way to Galilee Christ who once for sinners bled now the firstborn from the dead thrown in endless might and power lives and reigns forevermore. Hail eternal hope on high, hail, O King of victory, hail, O Prince of life adored, show us mercy, gracious Lord.